This week we're after waterfowl, starting with an early season field hunt for geese with my friends Bob and Cody Farrell and Steve Vandenhended. Periodic changes in cloud cover, or ceiling, along with intermittent showers, seem to have the birds moving. That hunt wrapped up with a few geese for the freezer. Next, we hunted out of layout blinds in a field near the shores of Lake Erie with Peyton Tottle of Peyton Tottle Photography and friends Curtis Smith and Jesse Harker. captioning in today's episode is brought to you by Enough.
<laughs> These geese decided to land out of range of our setup, so Peyton bumped them so as not to entice others to follow suit. <laughs> We're just gonna have to shoot these three, I think. There's a group right up on our left leg, a new group. One behind us on the right. Oh. Wow. This portion of today's episode is brought to you by Bergara. Our barrels make the difference. Periodic breaks in the action made for a fun and relaxing hunt. As the sky cleared and the temperature rose, we decided to call it a morning and pack up.
I'd like to thank Peyton Tottle for his help with the videography in this segment. And in case you're wondering about the furry goose, he thought he would make a stock on our decoys just prior to good camera light. So Curtis dispatched him. A little while back, we did a duck hunt with JR Wetlands on Walpole Island. taken by boat to their beautiful lodge in the middle of Walpole Marsh. We've made it to uh, Ryan and Josh's luxurious lodge. As you can see, we are not roughing it here. This is one of the most uh, beautiful spots I've ever been. Um, it's a beautiful first class accommodations right out in the middle of the Walpole Marsh. Um, this is uh, a part of the Mississippi Flyway. This is all stuff that's fairly new to me. As, a, as you know, I'm not a, an experienced waterfowl hunter, so I'm really excited to get this going. The guys have done a fantastic job. They bring you in on a boat, and when you get here, it's like an oasis in the middle of the marsh. Uh, they've got beautiful log cabins, a nice big mess hall, there's food ready for you, and uh, they take care of you very, very well. We're really anxious to get out on the marsh. The guys are getting the boats ready here as I speak, so we're going to uh, get out onto the marsh in, in a little while and start trying to swat some ducks. Stick with us and we'll see how we do. I was joined on this hunt by my friend Kyle Dinsmore and my son Chris. Now guys, take him, take him. Go ahead, take him. This segment is brought to you by Excalibur Crossbows. Different for a reason.
The next morning found us back out on the marsh and back in the ducks. great time. Uh, the birds weren't cooperating real well as you can see it's bluebird skies and that's lousy for waterfowl hunting. Um, right at uh, right just before dark last night I'm gonna grab this duck. Just before dark uh, last night they dropped in and there was a ton of them and uh, that was fun but it was very quick you had to be on the gun, and then all of a sudden it was past legal shooting light, so we had to put everything away. Um, this morning we had a few little, uh, little, you know, bits of action, and then that was it. Uh, so, yeah, all in all, it was a good first experience. Uh, hopefully, uh, we'll get more uh, shooting in at some point here, and and uh, get back into this whole duck thing. There we are. Josh, uh, thanks very much for everything you've done this the past couple of days. has just been a lot of fun. As you can see, we had lots of luck. We had some ducks, and uh, for me, uh, being a rookie, it was kind of fun because I got to see the ducks piling in a little bit. And, um, it was real tough to bring it to you on video because uh, they seem to hold up until out in the open water, Josh was saying, until uh, it gets um, you know, a, little, a little darker, and uh, so as, as soon as they even though it was legal shooting light, as soon as they dropped down below the reed line, it was, you know, you couldn't see them. So the, the cameras don't pick it up as easily as our, our eye does, so, you know, you just have to roll with it. 
Um, we had a great time. Josh, uh, thanks very much for letting us come out and, and uh, kind of teaching us the ropes here. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll definitely spread the word. As I said earlier, this is, uh, this is a totally self-sufficient um, camp. Not much of a camera, it's a, it's a lodge out in the middle of a, of a marsh. Um, this is a, a major stop over on the Mississippi Flyway and the ducks are just, they're just amazing. There's ducks and geese flying all over the place. So uh, if you ever have uh, an inkling to do a, a guided, uh, outfitted waterfowl hunt, get a hold of Josh at JR Wetlands. I mean, he's gonna set you up.